Hey guys, and welcome back to a very special Monday Motivation. In today's episode, we're going to be talking about the fact that there's only 58 days left in the year. And to top it all off, it's not just 58 days left in the year, we got 58 days left in the decade. That's right. I was just looking at the calendar and well, today is November 4th. Um, you know, for all intents and purposes, you know, either depending on when you're watching this video, either today is already done or you're starting your day. So, you know, you probably have around 58, 57 days left, all right, give or take, maybe a little less than that. As you guys know, the holidays are upon us, among other things, so really, you know, let's just round it up to 56, all right? There's literally 56 days left in your year, give or take, all right? What are you going to do about it? There's 56 days left in the decade. How are you going to end this decade? Now, as I look back at this year and this decade, I, I'm like, wow, holy crap. <clears throat> Did I go through a lot? Did I do a lot? Now, can you say that? <clears throat> can you look back at the last 10 years of your life and actually say that? Wow, holy crap, have I gone through changes. I'm 38 years old right now. Back when I was 28 years old, I was still living in Miami. I still wasn't even thinking about leaving Miami, let alone to Seattle. And in that whole 10 year time span, not only have I gone to Seattle, I've traveled many, many places. I've gone through so many experiences I've literally lived many, many, many lives. In fact, now, you know, come full circle, at the beginning of the decade, at the beginning of the last 10 years, yeah, literally at the beginning of uh, 2010, I was a chef, thinking that was what, what was gonna be my career for the rest of my life. I was a lifer. And now, come 10 years later, here I am talking to a camera, we're getting ready to upload a video, a Monday motivation video, to my, again, YouTube channel, which I never thought I was ever gonna, you know, I mean, the last thing on my mind was the fact that I was gonna be doing something like this, or even living in Mexico, or, again, you know, so many more things that uh, you guys already know about my life that I just never thought in a million years I would be here. So, you know, again, today's episode is uh, Monday Motivation. It's to, you know, maybe give you guys a little bit of a kick in the ass all right, to get, you know, um, stop resting on your laurels and start getting to it. Because it's funny, every single time that I think to myself or that I'm, you know, um, just have that thought that, man, am I, am, you know, I don't know. that. You know, I guess what I'm trying to say is, is the fact that still, right now, everyone that knows me is constantly telling me, man, you work so much. You are so... Um, uh, what is it like obsessed with your craft and your your what you're doing now you know not just a youtube video but pretty much every other aspect of all the things that you're doing with your life right now you know how you know don't you need time to rest don't you want to stop don't i mean isn't this too much you know whatever all these questions come about and in reality every time that somebody brings that up you know what immediately comes to mind i'm like oh wow man thank god because I think I'm not doing anything. I think in my mind, I'm just fucking around. I'm not even really doing anything in the sense of like what society would want you to believe of what, you know, what that means of doing something. So every single fucking time that I'm kind of like thinking, damn, am I, you know, what am I, you know, what am I doing? I'm not, you know, necessarily working 80 hours a week, you know, for a guy, you know, doing, you know, the, just that whole narrative that we're always, you know, um, kind of accustomed to. Um, as soon as somebody that does work a lot, that does have a miserable life, that does have whatever, you know, just a regular Joe, looks at me and li looks at me dead in the eye, like, man, how do you do it? How do you work so hard? How do you, whatever, insert thing here. It, it really just, gives me like a, it makes me breathe a sigh of relief in the sense of like, fuck, okay, so I am working really hard. I really am, you know, um, non-stop working, not 80 hours a week, 100 hours a week. 
I mean, I'm literally working on my crap from the minute I wake up to the minute I go to sleep. All right? And, um, you know, just having my girlfriend around, it's not making me work less, it's making me work more and do more. All right? If anything, I just take the little breaks, you know, that me as a human needs with her. But, you know, again, you know, this episode isn't like a throwback Thursday going back down memory lane with Jose. It's, you know, probably asking to yourselves, you know, like, hey, how, how are you getting there? How can you get there? And the thing is that, you know how you can get there? By stop, you know, going through things like right now when I told you at the beginning of this episode, hey, there's only 58 days in this decade, you know, blah, 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 you know, that whole fucking thing. You know, most of you guys out there were probably thinking, oh, my God. Oh my God, I haven't done anything. Oh my God, what am I gonna do? Oh my God, what are, oh, my, oh my goodness. But you know what I was thinking? I'm like, damn. Really just, first of all, I started reminiscing. Then I went, damn, I did a lot of shit. And then I'm also thinking, man, I can't wait for the next 10 years. You know, and, and th that's the, you know, again, the, the kind of like the, the, the mindset I want for you guys to be in. That's why I continue making these videos because, by the way, you know, my, um, plan for today's video and I'm pretty sure that you guys are already getting the gist of it was to play and put all my thumbnails from throughout the year so far up until now here okay because remember I've upload every single day so you're probably watching all my thumbnails now but again it's just uh, I'm not trying to rub anything in I'm just letting you guys know that it takes work all right it takes a lot of work to get here all right and I'm um, but it's it's not really work if it's something you love and you do, just like how we were just kind of discussing a few minutes ago. And that's like the, the whole thing. You know, I know I'm kind of going in circles here and I'm all over the place, but the reality is it's like, um, let me pause real quick, hold on. Yeah, guys, sorry about that. I just stopped, stopped the video real quick so I can gather my thoughts again and uh, continue making the video. That's something I've learned from making all of these videos. The fact that you know, sometimes, hey, I gotta stop the camera and I gotta edit a little bit or I gotta gather my thoughts so I can make a better video, better content, and so on and so forth. Instead of just going off the cuff all the time. At the end of the day, who am I really proving anything to? But again, that's not what today's episode is about. You know, today's episode is about the fact that, again, you know, as I look back at this past decade, I'm very proud of pretty much everything I did and as far as I've come. And, um, and I, and I really hope that a lot of you guys are as well. But for those of you guys that are not, you should look at this opportunity, look at this video as an opportunity, look at today as an opportunity, as a day for you to start getting on the right path to make next decade the, your best decade, all right? Because I, I, I get it, you know what I mean? It's, it's easier said than done, but you know, at the end of the day, you're the one that has all the power to do this. It's not, you know, it's not making excuses. You know, right now, a lot of you guys are probably procrastinating and doing what you need to do to get there by watching this video. Hey, look, I do it all the time, too. I'm not going to sit here and pretend like I'm, you know, you know, the greatest guy of them all. Um, but, you know, seriously, at the end of the day, really, we have total control. And when this, when, how did the last decade start for me? How was it really, you know, um, how did it become the, this, the most amazing decade of my life? easy because I finally took the power back I decided to stop blaming the world and stop blaming everything and I started to become you know I started to become self-aware and I started to take care of my mental health and myself and all of a sudden before you knew it 10 years later I mean seriously it feels like I, I tell you guys all the time even though I'm 38 I feel like I'm 28 and that's the kind of like the point even though I remember pretty much verbatim you know like the last 10 years you know a good majority of it um, it, it's almost, I almost feel like it, it all just happened like that. But it was a lot of hard work and that's the thing though, you know, once you finally get to from point A to point B, not only do you realize like, fuck, this was not as hard as I originally thought, but the fact that you're also gonna be like, damn, I'm glad I did it. And now, damn, look at all these tools that I'm equipped, quit it, not, <laughs> it's like, and then you're gonna say like, damn, look at all these tools that I'm equip, equipped with and look at now what I can do with this. I can't wait for the next 10 years. Sorry, I got a little tongue twisted there. <laughs> but guys, seriously, I hope you guys are enjoying you know, today's Monday Motivation. I hope you guys are enjoying these words of wisdom. I hope that you guys are looking to seize the day and you're not looking to make any more excuses and that you guys are you know, already kind of like done 
with making excuses and you guys are already starting to make moves. Because that's the things that I wanna hear. I don't wanna hear the fact that, you know, you guys are still spinning your wheels. I, I, I love, I love hearing from you guys. When you guys leave me, you know, a comment in the YouTube video or an email or whatever, however you guys get in contact with me and let me know about your awesome story, about how, you know, I was able to help you with your word, with my words of whatever, you know what I mean? Um, you know, to me, that beyond makes my day. That makes me so happy, so proud. And that just, I mean, it makes me proud of myself, obviously, that I'm doing this, you know, but it also makes me very proud of, you know, I just realized this guy wants to be in the thing, but also makes me, sorry, I didn't mean to, anyways, it makes me very, very proud of you guys, all right? Really, it makes me very super crazy proud of you guys more than anything else. And that's the thing, you know what I mean? Like, to me, you know, that's one of the things that I realized, you know, um, throughout my life's journey was the fact that one thing that I really enjoyed doing and loved doing was teaching people, was helping people grow, was making people better, you know, and everything that had to go about that. And um, I, I, I didn't know how I was going to get there. Back when I was a chef, I knew that I was already kind of doing that. I wanted to do that on a grander scale. I had no idea how I was going to get from point A to point B. I just knew I wanted to do it. And as I stand here right in front of you today filming this, and I'm literally just creating this thought, you know, literally, I'm, this is all coming to me as I'm filming this. The fact that now I stand in front of you and I'm literally doing, okay, what I've always wanted to do, but on a grander scale. So right now, when today, when people ask me, because I get this asked all the time, all right, what are your five-year plan? What do you plan on getting out of this whole YouTube thing? What do you plan on doing what you're doing? What do you, the real answer is that I don't really have a major immediate plan. I don't have like a five-year, 10-year plan type of thing. I just have a plan. What's my plan? I wanna continue doing what I'm doing, what I have been doing, all right? for as long as I, forever, you know what I mean? And um, the only thing I wanted to change is the capacity in which I'm doing it. Meaning, I want my audience to continue growing. And I wanna continue doing what I'm doing so that as many people as possible can hear me, whether they like me or not. I know I'm influencing people, good or bad. I think mostly for good. And that's the thing, you know, like I, that's what I've learned from, you know, so many years of doing this. So back 10 years ago, I was just a chef. I only had like a handful of people, literally just a group full of people, you know, which were all my employees or the people I worked with that were the ones that I would share this stuff with and wisdom with. And I loved it. And every time I would see someone grow, make somebody better, do that whole thing. The one thing that always punched me in the gut was when they would tell me, man, you know, you're so smart, you're so awesome, you're so this, you should be doing this on a grander scale. You should be doing this, or you should be doing something else, or you should be blah, 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 blah. That always kind of punched me in the gut because I knew that. I knew that that's, I mean, not only, I mean, I always, I always kind of knew it a little bit, but when other people, a lot of people would tell me that on a regular, consistent basis, that's when eventually, like, it started to get to me. And then I started making the, the unconscious decision that, I did not want to be in the environment I was in anymore and that I wanted to still do what I did but just on a grander scale and I knew that the first step was literally eliminating myself from where I was and starting a brand new path and that if I really wanted what I wanted it would eventually find me as long as I continued going on the proper path and again you know a lot of these things are very vague to those that are not self-aware but those that are becoming very self-aware these things are not as vague as I and speaking them. Sorry, there's like a truck there. Um, so again, you know, so some people this may be very vague. The things that I'm, the words that I'm saying, but to a lot of people, I know that it's not vague at all. And that's what the point I'm making. You know, you know, right now, as I sit here ten years later, and I'm talking to an audience of two thousand one hundred eighty plus or one two thousand two hundred people, whatever. And this is my audience right now. It's like, holy shit. It used to be five, 10 people. Now it's over 2,000. What's it gonna be at 10 years from now? 20 years from now? And so on and so forth. And back then, I, I used to only think that, oh, the only thing I had to offer the world was just uh, my knowledge of the kitchen, my knowledge of cooking, my knowledge of running a kitchen and running a business and running. But now as I 
you know, stand here today making these Monday motivations, you know, amongst other things that I do for, you know, this channel and other people, I realized like, holy shit, I have a lot of talents that not only do I need to share with the world, but I want to share with the world. And as each day passes, I'm realizing like, wow, even though 10 years ago, I didn't know how the hell I was going to get here. And again, I, 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 there's no way in hell that I could picture this right now. But I'm here. Just like I can't picture where I'm going to be in 10 years, but I can picture, I know where I want to be in 10 years. And that's the thing I'm, I always encourage all of you guys as well to always kind of like go for and think about and all that shit. You know, the fact that it's the same thing. You know, don't overburden yourself with so much. Just make it simple. What do you want to do? For example, in my case, I wanted to just talk. I wanted to make people laugh. I wanted to help teach people, but not about stupid shit like a, like a teacher in school. No, like really teach people about life stuff. And guess what? That's what I do now. You know, I teach about all kinds of shit. I talk about all kinds of shit. I do all kinds of shit. And that's the thing, you know what I mean? Like, and I'm the happiest I've ever been. So, and how? By just doing what I wanted to do and just knowing what I wanted to do and not settling for anything less. Never settle. Never settle. It's another one. It's an I should make an episode just on that. I should literally make an episode on not settling. I mean, I probably already have. But that's, again, you know, going back to the, you know, the whole thing here. When you don't settle, when you become obsessed, when you start really just doing what you love, and stop thinking about the results, just thinking about the fact that you're living in the moment and doing what you love at the moment in time, man, th that's it, you'll get there. You'll, you'll get to where all your peers or all your society or all the people that love you want you to be or whatever, or where you might wanna be, you feel me? And that's, that's it. You just gotta keep, you know, and that's why it's always, the one thing you always hear over and over and over and over again from everyone that has made it is do what you love. Just do what you love. If you do what you love, you'll never work a day in your life. So again, even though I work from the moment I wake up to the moment I fall asleep, I gotta get reminded by you guys that I'm working because a lot of times I'm so into it I don't even realize I'm working. Sometimes I got my girlfriend on me, all right? And you know what I'm saying? She has to pull me away from my work. Is it really work? No. You feel me? And that's the thing, you know what I mean? Like sure, there's a lot of work involved, all right? And work takes a lot of definitions, but the reality is, is that I love what I do. And I enjoy what I do. And I don't wanna ever stop doing what I'm doing. And that's the thing, when you love, or you, when you find what you love to do, whether it's baking cupcakes, whether it's talking like me, whether it's teaching individuals, whether it's flying a kite, yeah, you can be a professional kite flyer. You can teach people how to fly kites. You can, there's a lot of things you can do with that. Don't limit yourself. No matter what you love to do, make origami. You can teach an origami class, you, you, literally. If that's not paying the bills, make YouTube videos about origami. I don't, I mean, there's a lot of things you can do. And again, if you need help monetizing or starting the monetization of your love and passion, all you gotta do is either reach out to me or reach out to Gary V and we'll put you on track. It's really not that fucking hard. The hardest part is looking in the mirror, looking at yourself and figuring out what the fuck you wanna do, what you love, and stop being ashamed of it. If you want to play video games all day, play video games. If you want to draw, draw. If you want, and don't matter what you want to do, you can do it. Just stop limiting yourself. You are the only thing that is stopping yourself from true happiness. Nothing else, no one else, period, end of story, the end. Because again, you can follow my stories, just like you can follow a lot of people's stories. And listen, I've had a lot of fucking hardship. In fact, I've documented a lot of the hardship. You see me really complain? No. All right? You only complain when you're not happy, when you're miserable. All right? And again, I've been there. That's why I can know about these things. 
you know, just like, uh, you know, Jordan Peterson, you know, says, um, and just like other people say, you know, that's the thing, you know, the, the, why I can speak so um, off the cuff, so, you know, open spirit, open heart about these things is because I've been where you've been. You might not think so, but I have. I've been there. I've been, I, I've, I would, not only was I born in the gutter, but I made it. And again, a lot of these things are documented in my, in my YouTube channel all the way at the beginning. Um, not everything, but a good majority of stuff. Um, but regardless, uh, you know, like I was saying, you know, I, I was born in the gutter. I made something of myself. I dropped to rock bottom, made something of myself again, or dropped to rock bottom. I, I've, I've done this many times. And I've learned a lot many times over. All right? And that's why I can sit here today and tell you all about these things and my story. And I'm, you know, more than happily recording my uh, adventure here. My, um, you know, my, uh, what is it? Not just my adventure, but my, uh, anyways, yeah, just let me leave it here. My adventure, you know, literally because, you know, at the end of the day, I know I'm going to be a success. I'm 1,000% sure. In fact, I'm, I'm already a success. I know I am. I am. I just am. I am. I am. In my mind, in my heart, in my everything, I am. But I'm really going to be a success because of a lot of the things that I do all the time. And that's a fucking thing. You know what I mean? Like I, and, I don't, and that's why even if I'm not a success, it doesn't even fucking matter. You know, I want to record this whole fucking thing because I've, like I've said before, this is going to help somebody. This is already helping somebody. But I know I'm going to be a success. And oh, to me, what I'm really recording here is just, you know, the blueprint that it can be done. It can be fucking done. You know, literally. You know, I, I, you know, not only did I, you know, started from the bottom, now we're here. But I've done it multiple times. And we're doing it again. And in fact, I'm so sure of the fact that I'm going to do it again, you know, that that's why I'm recording it fully through because it's like yeah fuck it why not you know might as well and i'm in a good mood doing it as opposed to other times when i was climbing out of the gutter wasn't a very happy times things are very happy now because you know for a multitude of reasons you know mainly experience and life you know have hit me over the head so many times where it's not a fucking problem anymore you know i look at problems and i'm like come on bring it motherfucker bring it all right and that's the thing, you know what I mean? Like, you guys know this, you know? That's why you guys, a lot of you guys have been watching me and, and watch me all the fucking time because I, I, I get it, I, I, I know. You know, I, I'm, I'm hardcore. I don't make any fucking bones about it. You know what I mean? For reals. And I love being the way I am. I, you know, and that's all I want from you guys. I want you guys to love who you are. I want you guys to find your voice, be who you want to be, be you. All right, you, if you are soft, be soft. If you're hardcore, be hardcore, but just be you. Just be you, all right? And trust me, once you shut everybody else up and you're you, you're, you're never gonna look back. You're gonna be just like me, happy as a little school girl, all right? So there's a little um, Austin Powers. Is it Austin Powers? I don't know. I forgot, Dana Carter. Anyway, all right, guys, enough. <laughs> Too much thinking going on. I can see the smoke coming off my head. All right, guys. So, guys, I'm going to end this episode here. I think it was a really good Monday motivation. It's a long Monday motivation. You already know we got a Gary Vee or some sort of uh, motivational video coming up after this one as well to just, you know, give you that last jolt, you know, to fucking take on Monday, Tuesday, whatever, you know, on like a, like a beast. Um, and that's it. So right now, you already know what we're going to do. We're going to go through the sponsors. I want to give a big shout out to all my patrons. I want to give a shout out to every single one of you guys out there that helps, you know, contribute and helps keep the show alive. You know, every time you guys send a few bucks, every time that you guys, you know, buy a t-shirt, you guys do all that stuff, man, it helps immensely. It helps keep Lambo happy. It keeps him, it keeps, keeps him from eating my clothes and my shoes. Yeah, you, you know he does. And uh, and it just, you know, keeps this thing going for reals because at the end of the day, I'm going to keep ma making these videos no matter what, literally, until I'm done. You know what I mean? Uh, and, and then that's it, you know what I mean? But if you guys, you know, every time that you guys send anything uh, my way, it just makes and it helps enhance these videos and this content even more. So again, if you enjoy this stuff and you want to see it coming and you want to see even more of it, you already know what to do. Just su subscribe. All right, hit that like button. All right, share the video. Do all that stuff that I'm always telling you I, at the end of each video. Damn, this is a long video already. All right, guys, thanks again for watching. Don't forget to please like, please subscribe, please share, please hit that bell icon. Please stay awesome. And uh, more importantly than anything else, I love you guys, and I'll see you guys manana for the Cuba videos. I hope you guys are watching them. You guys better be watching them. Love you. Bye.
So at 30, I started Wine Library TV. YouTube blows up. At 31, I'm on Conan O'Brien, Ellen. There's articles being written about me. Now they're writing that the business grew from three to $60 million in sales. I'm becoming this guy. I got so many goddamn emails from friends in high school during that period when I was showing up in all these magazines and TV shows. And every single one of them was like, hey Gary, you remember me from high school? Oh my God, you're so lucky. I wrote back every single one of them and said, Let me just clarify one thing. I'm not lucky. I worked. I worked every goddamn weekend and every holiday since I was 14 years old. So you can keep that luck shit in your pocket. Every day, every day that I live my life, I get five to 27 emails from people that are telling me that they are quitting or they should quit or, or, are really coming to me as a last resort to uh, convince them not to quit, I think, a lot of times, or, or, or maybe give them confirmation that they should quit. Uh, you know, hey Gary, uh, this is Sally. I've been doing my blog now for nine months and I'm not getting the results that I like to see or that I was promised or that you and you endo. Uh, should I give up? Like, you know, should I, is, my, is my content not good enough? Am I, is my voice not good enough? And, and I think about it Every time, every time I see these emails, every time people ask me at conferences, I think about it. I think about how sad I am that I wasn't documenting my life or putting out content or doing the Ask Gary Vee show during those five and a half years of Wine Library TV. Especially those 18 months when nobody was watching. You know, the story that's never told is the story that I was building Wine Library to a huge company long before Wine Library TV and that the first month that I did Wine Library TV was the first time that Wine Library had not grown 30% over the prior year's revenue. So not only did I have the patience to let it play itself out and win, it was a scenario where I was actually losing money by being patient. Many of the people that are gonna watch this video are not achieving what they want and are lacking the patience and think everything happens overnight and that is coming at the cost of an unhappy life or no loss financially, just loss in time. Just coming at the expense of Angry Birds or House of Cards marathons or the bowling team or hanging out with friends and having a beer or reading a magazine or Whatever the hell gets you off and excited as a hobby. It's coming at that expense. It's not coming at the expense of actual money or something or pain uh, or you know, it's coming at the expense of a luxury. And so to me, the, the, the insanity, really, and that's what I'm gonna, um, you know, the, the disproportional misunderstanding that there's not a person that you can name, not one. There is zero people that you can name that had it happen overnight, even the nine-year-old Stevie Wonder and six-year-old Michael Jackson. There were years of work put in prior by their parents, by their uncles, even with the greatest talents, even with LeBron. He seemed like so young when he hit the scene. Guess what? He wasn't. He'd already been playing basketball for 15 goddamn years. (laughs) Even though you all say to me like, wow, you, you did it. I didn't do it. I did it when I was 14 years old and 15 years old and 16 years old and 17 years old and 18 years old and 19 years old and 20 years old and 21 years old and 22 years old, which were all the years that every single weekend while my friends went to the Jersey Shore and hooked up with girls, while my friends went fishing, while my friends hung out and threw around the football and lived the leisure life every weekend, every, every single weekend. Let me just say it one more time, every weekend, every day from the day I got out of school to the day I went back into school, every vacation day, all of them, not a good amount of them, every day from 7 a.m. to back then 8 p.m., every day I was learning the wine business. I was honing my craft to be a good salesman. I was figuring out how to be an operator. I watched how my dad interacted with his employees, what I liked about it, what I didn't. I watched my cousin Bobby interact with the employees. I took what I liked from it, what I didn't. I was 30 years old before any of you ever saw me. Go show me the videos on YouTube right now that have me under 30. They don't exist. I was putting in the work for half my life at from 15 to 30 where I built an actual business. I put in actual work. 
And so if you want to tell me that every goddamn moment of my life between 15 and 30 is an overnight success, then knock yourself out. But that is complete bullshit and every one of you know it. And so when you email me that you've started this thing, that you have the audacity to want it to be the rest of your life, the audacity, the, really the, the entitlement that you think that you should be able to do something that you love so much for the rest of your life, that makes you enough money to be able to do it for the rest of your life, that you're giving up after four months, <laughs> that you're giving up after two years. As a matter of fact, every single person watching this video should be trying for that moment for the rest of their life, period. You might hit pay dirt at 80 and cool, then you can really do exactly what you love from 80 to 100. My friends, it is a gift. It is a gift to wake up in the morning and be able to do what you want for the rest of your life. The way you do that is by becoming a quote unquote overnight success. You know, the excuse that everybody uses to deploy against somebody who's actually put in work for the last decade and got themselves into a position where they can do something pretty rad that we all think is cool and we all wish we could do. You know, that thing, the thing that you say to yourself to make yourself feel better about when you're laying in bed and playing a goddamn game on your phone instead of putting in the work to achieve what you want. Nothing in life is free. Nothing happens overnight. It all takes tons and tons of work and tons and tons of talent and tons and tons of serendipity. But my friends, luck, serendipity, there's a forced culture within that. (laughs) You know, you don't just sit in your room hoping and then something lucky happens. Nobody just knocks on your house's door and says, congratulations, you've been awarded this. Luck comes from being in the right spot. I've been really lucky because I fucking bleed out of my eyes every day of my life and work my face off. You get really lucky when you have that 11.30 p.m. meeting (laughs) where the lucky thing happened. Pretty cool, since all you were fucking sleeping, I was pretty lucky, weird, that I scheduled that meeting because I did a ton of things for 30 years that allowed me to even have that meeting in the first place that gave me the leverage to have that lucky thing to happen. There's no overnight successes, period. They don't exist, show me. Leave a comment on YouTube, leave the name, explain to me, tell me, show me, let me know. Show me the overnight success because I'll show you you justifying in your brain something that is just not true, period.